way out. I'm trapped. Help! Help me! Fire control three, come in please. Will you come in please? This is urgent. Come in three, please. Unit three here, receiving you over. Look three, there's a man running through the smoke directly towards the fire. Will you have a look at it, please? It's urgent. Have a look, there's a man going straight into the fire. Yes, I can see him now. Dad, stop Eccles, he's heading straight for the fire. Magic Boomerang. The ancient legend of the Dreamtime people tells of a magic boomerang. When this strange boomerang flies in the sky, all time will stand still. Whoever has this boomerang has a great power. Mr. Eccles, it's just the usual station jobs around the place, you know, mending fences. Of course, since this long dry spell's been on, we've had to keep plenty of water up for the stock. We've been hand feeding most of the people. Oh, Mum, I won't be home. Oh, to... Don't go barging in like that. We're in the middle of a conversation. And don't just stand there. Say hello to Mr. Eccles. He's our new hand. Uh, I won't be home for lunch day, Mum. You fix something for one bit, Mum? Oh, all right, dear. What's wrong with that boy today, Gwen? He doesn't normally behave like this. Oh, excuse me, I must tune in the news. It has been a long, dry spell, hasn't it? Yes, Mr. Eccles, one of the driest we've had in years. Further fire warnings have been issued for the whole of the Central and Tablelands area. Remember, today is another day of acute fire danger. Volunteer firefighters should report to their own area control points. And now, today is sporting run now. Well, let's get down there a bit later. I'll talk to you boys afterwards. You ready, Eccles? Yeah. I'll show you where you sleep, and then we can have a quick look over the place, eh? Where do I eat my meals? Oh, well, you'll eat here in the kitchen with us, Mr. Eccles. I'll give you a call at meal times. Right, get your blankets and we'll go. We won't be long, Gwen. All right, dear. I want to know just one thing. 
Why did Dad have to employ him? Oh, why, dear, is there something wrong with him? Wombat and I had a brush with him back along the track. It strikes me that you and Wombat have arguments with just about everyone in the district. It's not just that, Mum. I don't like him. He's a troublemaker. Dad had to employ someone. Why didn't give old George the job? Old George? Yes, George Jones. He's a friend of ours. Ah. Well, will you ask Dad, Mum? Anyone would be better than him. All right, dear. I'll mention it to him later. We're going down to the fire post now, all right? Mm, all right. Thanks for the food, Mrs. Bumblewood. Any time, Wombat, any time. Hey, what about my sandwich? Uh, <clears throat> Wombat took it. Wombat. Tom, where's Wombat? Ah, oh, he's coming. Ready for firefighting practice? Right. One, two, three! you can. Can't even deserve one extra bloke. Haven't got nearly enough as it is already. Sorry. See you in time next week. Over and out. Well, that's how it is everywhere. Mm. Not nearly enough men when you need them. Mm. See that? Nearly a hundred in the shade and the day not half done. Yeah, it certainly is hot. Oh, Dan, do you think your wife would mind fixing a sandwich and a cup of tea for the boys over your way about three or four o'clock? Of course. How many do you think they'd be, roughly? Oh, make it around, doesn't it? All right? Of course. Good. Now, if we only had a few extra men. Hey, Bill, I started a new man this morning. A chap by the name of Eccles. He could help. You're right, he could. Eccles. Send him down to the post in Boundary Road. Uh, can I use your phone? Certainly. Thanks. Hello, operator. Get me the Thumbleton place, please. Mr. Brady, could Wombat and I help out? Not now, Tom. It's too risky. Now, quiet. Hello, Gwen. This is Dan here. No, Tom's all right. He's right beside me. Now, listen, I want you to send Eccles down to the Fire Watchers Tower at Boundary Road right away. Oh, just draw him a rough map. He'll find it all right. Oh, and Bill Brady wants you to prepare some sandwiches and some tea or coffee or something for about a dozen men around about 3.30. Yes, I said 12. All right, dear? Good. Thanks. Bye-bye. Well, let's fix that. Dan, what about the boys going down to this boundary road post with this Eccles fellow? Then they'd have uh, an adult with them and make it safer anyway. That's not a bad idea, Bill. You know where to go, boys? No, I don't think we'll bother after all that. Now, look, no argument, Tom. I want you to go down there when I tell you. But, Dad, this man, Eccles, is a troublemaker. Well, now, he wouldn't be if you didn't provoke him. Now, go straight away when I ask you, please. Now, both of you, scoot. All right, then, we'll, we'll give it a go. Don't forget to report him by phone every hour. All right, Mr. Brady. Post to Brady, post to Fumble. Now to place you, Dan. Hmm. You know, if the wind changes, this whole area is going to go up like a bomb. There. Just ride through into the south paddock, go through the gate by the windmill, stay on this track until you get to Boundary Road. The fire watcher's post is on the right. You can't miss it. I'm a fireman, not a fire watcher. Around here, everyone helps out, Eccles. You've surely no objection to doing a few hours fire watching. Waste of time, that's what it is. I wouldn't treat a bushfire too lightly, Eccles. Last year, three families were trapped. Homes were burned to the ground, sheep and cattle were lost. It was terrible. Everything grows again. Not living things, Eccles. 
It's all such a terrible waste. And usually because of one person's stupid or careless action. Well, I'm not stupid, lady. Not me. Not Arthur Eccles. I... I didn't say you were. Well, see you later in the day, then. Mate, just you try. You better let us up, Ecclesy. We're on official duty to help you. Ah, fancy sending kids to help me. Go on, beat it. Get out of it. Go and chase the cows. I don't need help from you. I don't need help from anyone. There's a telephone, Ecclesy. Better answer it. You stay here. Hello. Uh, Brady? No, there's no Brady here. Oh, you're Brady. Yeah, Eccles. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, he wants to speak to you. Tom here. Oh, hello, Mr. Brady. If the wind changes, report in. All right, Mr. Brady. Oh, no, Mr. Brady. Two of us will be here at all times. All right, goodbye. Yes, Mr. Brady, no, Mr. Brady. If the wind changes, Mr. Brady, here is this Brady character. Ecclesy, in a bad mood today. Don't you talk to me. Get in the corner and behave yourself. You too, get in the corner. There's plenty of room. Why should I crowd into one corner? Because I told you to, that's why. That's no reason. What are you trying to do? Exercise your authority or something? And I've got a job to do. Look, get in that corner. Get over there. Don't shoot me. Put all your stuff out on the table. Come on, out of your pockets. Clear them out. Come on. Come on, what else you got? What else you got? What about this? What do you want this for? It's just an old boomerang. Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying? Leave it there. We'd better ring the firepost. Ah, that's not for an hour yet. <laughs> yeah, we've got plenty of time for that. In the meantime... In the meantime what? You think I'll tell you? <laughs> just what are you going to do, Mr. Hmm. I'm going to fix them. Hmm. 
Mm, what do you mean? You're trying to catch me out, are you? No, no, not really. Look, would you like a watch? Here you are, my watch. You can have it as a present. Go on, keep it. Hmm? What are you doing? Can I keep this, then? Yes. Thank you. You won't want the other stuff, would you? Yes, I will. I know how to use these. Oh, I, I, I know you do, Mr. Eccles, but that's a different boomerang. Yeah, um, what it's do you mean? more curved. Uh, you get out of it. Mr. Eccles knows how to throw the boomerang, but... Of course I do. It's just that this is slightly different. Could I show you, please? Go on, be a, be a sport, it, just once. All right, clever boy, you show. <laughs> So far, but I'd better get the boys in. It's too much down there all day. Mm. Eccles can stay on a while by himself. Well, dear, if you think he can manage it. Oh, he'll be all right. Tom, look! Just down there! Oh, Sheila, get me the Boundary Road fire post. Through Bill Brady's control point, please. Is that you, Tom? The wind has turned round. The fire's coming straight towards us. It has? Well, you get out of there as quickly as you can. I'll come down and pick you up. Quickly, on time. Yes? Yes? All right. You want to stay here, Eccles? The wind's changed, Gwen. I better get over there. I'll follow with the sand just as soon as I can. Oh, good. I'm to stay here, am I? If it's a fire they want, it's a fire I'll give them.
I'm trapped! Help! Help me! Fire Control 3, come in please. Will you come in please? This is urgent. Come in 3, please. Unit 3 here, receiving you over. Look 3, there's a man running through the smoke directly towards the fire. Will you have a look at it please? It's urgent. Have a look, there's a man going straight into the fire. Yes, I can see him now. Dad, stop Eccles, he's heading straight for the fire. Tumbledon. I'm sorry. I didn't realise it had spread so fast. I could have been killed. Never mind explaining to me, Eccles. Leave that for the police. The police? Oh, Mr. Thumbleton, I didn't mean to start it. You're not going to put me in, are you? I'm sorry for what I did. Well, I'll have to be going. Thanks for the nice tea and everything. Damn. George is leaving now. Oh, good night, George. Thanks very much for your help. Mum? Oh, Dan, now that Eccles has gone, wouldn't it be nice if George... Oh, yes. George, are you working at the moment? Uh, no, I'm not, actually. I, uh... Do you want a job? Right here? With the lad? Well, where else? Yeah, thanks. Good. That's settled then. You can start right now by getting an early night. We've got a lot of work to do in the morning. Not all. Good night. Good night, George. George. Good night, one bit. No, Mr. Thumbleton. No, Come one. back again soon. Good night, Tom. No, I don't think an early night had hurt us either. I'm going to bed. <laughs>